today we will be studying about the pericardium of the heart we will also see about the two sinuses one is the transverse sinus and one more is the oblique sinus also we will see the heart in c2 so the structures which is in and around the heart in c2 position so now what you see over here so this is the pericardium of the heart what is covering the heart so usually this pericardium there are three layers of pericardium which is surrounding the heart outermost what you are seeing here this entire thing is the fibrous layer of pericardium so inside this fibrous layer of pericardium below this you will have two more layers so that is serous layer of pericardium so the serous layer of pericardium is again divided into two things so one is the visceral layer and the parietal layer so now we are reflected the fibrous layer of pericardium so once when you reflect it the visceral layer of serous pericardium is just attached to the heart whereas the parietal layer is attached to this fibrous pericardium itself we will not be able to uh, separate it then uh, what you see this is the heart in c2 so what all you can see over here so this is the right atrium whereas this is the right ventricle whereas this portion is forming the left ventricle so this is the right atrium this is the left uh, right this is a right ventricle and this is the left ventricle so in this left ventricle so this portion part is only called the apex of the heart so in between this ventricle here there will be a groove called the interventricular groove so about the blood vessels all we will study later so what other structures what you seeing over here so this is the aorta so this is the ascending aorta then you are having the the side what what is present the structure is the pulmonary trunk so this is the aorta this is the pulmonary trunk then what is entering in this uh, into this right atrium what you are having here so this is the superior vena cava so this is the superior vena cava and this is the inferior vena cava so the inferior vena cava will extend and pass below this diaphragm so this is the superior vena cava this is the inferior vena cava this is the aorta and this is the pulmonary trunk now coming to the sinuses of which is present in this pericardium so one is the transverse sinus so transverse sinus will pass below this aorta and the pulmonary trunk see if i am passing my finger below this aorta and the pulmonary trunk you can see this so this is the transverse sinus so this is aorta pulmonary trunk and this is the transverse sinus now coming to the oblique sinus so before seeing the oblique sinus so this region is the diaphragmatic surface of the heart because it is resting over the diaphragm and the boundaries for this oblique sinus is in the right side you are having this uh, inferior vena cava and the right pulmonary vein so this oblique sinus will be lying below the left atrium of the heart so and the uh, left boundary will by, uh, be formed by the left pulmonary veins so while seeing the sinus you are supposed to pass your fingers below this and extend it behind the left atrium so that is in between the left pulmonary veins right pulmonary veins and the inferior vena cava so this is how you uh, palpate the oblique sinus